Hi and welcome, my name is H Extraordinaire and a new chapter has come out of Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin. Let's get to it. Last time, I don't remember what happened. Oh yeah. Aaron got his uh, head shot off. Oh. Hopefully no one clicks on this without having read the last chapter. Because that's a big spoiler. Aaron, by all means, we must save everyone. Except for yourself, because you got your head shot off. I dropped it. I wonder if living in the hospital... I can't read. Uh, made my body grow dull. Yes, totally. Probably. I mean, if you weren't exercising, yeah. Look at him looking like a, like a revolutionary. Or the guy that killed uh, Deadpool's girlfriend in the second movie. Ah uh, yes, we have Aaron holding the baseball. Soon enough, he's gonna be trying out for the base, literally baseball league. I don't know anything about sports. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Ah uh, yes, Zeke. Chapter one hundred and twenty. Instant. Yes, we got birds. Look at those birds. They'll play a major role in this chapter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's no words. There's no word bubbles. So I gotta like. Fill it in myself. Ah, uh, yes, all the titans. Ah, oh, look at that. That's such a. This guy's enjoying his meal just so well. Just like slurping up the spinal cord. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, they'll be fine. Mikasa and Arm out fighting against Pike. Will she make it? Will they? Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. There's Zeke over there with a very small torso. He very clearly skipped leg day, and I guess there's this guy over here. I don't know. He's gonna he's gonna be a sh he's a new shifter, so who knows what's what he's gonna do? Run, Rainer, run! Wait, what did I call him for? Did I call him Zeke? That's not Zeke. And we have that person. I don't remember who that is. Is that supposed to be? I don't know what that is. All right, whatever. Guess it doesn't matter. Well, it's not Zeke, that's for sure. Is that supposed to be a Titan? No, 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 no. Of course, that's um, Falco's brother. It's, it's almost as if it's been about a month. Um, there's Aaron's head. You grab that. Slam dunk it, Zeke. Is that is that gonna be? I can't have. <laughs> that can't be the. <laughs> I can't be the thumbnail. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> Cause I, I don't. I don't know if. I don't know if. If Llama eventually sees this. If if he sees the thumbnail, I don't want him to. I don't, I don't know if he watches Attack on Titan or not, but I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> for him, I don't like want him to like wake up one day and like, go to YouTube and out of nowhere. Oh, Aaron's head. Okay. Well. <laughs> Alright, so here we have what seems to be a bunch of memories. All of Eren's memories because, well, I mean this. Is that Annie? No, it's Crust. Oh, Historia. Yeah, that's Historia. Younger Historia. I mean, I guess... I'd be like, oh, why does he have that memory? Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Memories transfer and stuff. Yes, we have this person here. I think I know who that is. Okay, this is Aaron. What is that? Is it the Gaia Force? It's been a while since I've seen you without the Titan thing on the jigs on your face. Who this? This is gonna be. Okay, it's the person is chained up, so I'm assuming it's the memories of. One of the royal family members, maybe the original king. Alright. That's that's my guess. It's the memories of the original king. So we have um Zeke over here. I thought it was the um, one of the royals. Well I guess he is one of the royals, but yeah. Yeah. This is what I think. I wonder if the royal family members who inherited the founder have come here before when using the founder's power. Brother I grew tired of waiting, Aaron. I feel like I've been sitting here waiting for years for you to recover and wake up. 
How many years have passed? I don't really know. Everything here happens in a split second. Your head was sent flying by Gabby. I made contact with you before you completely died. It was a success. We have obtained the Founder's power. He looks a little bit more like Grisha than Aaron. Aaron looks a bit more like his mom. You know, the famous Aaron's mom. That looks cool. It's a world tree behind her, right? That's cool. Someone's here. Don't worry, that is... The Founder, Ymir. The Founder, Ymir, you say? How do you know? Would there be anyone else here except for the Founder, Ymir-san? Ymir-san? To aimlessly walk around? More importantly, the Founder sculpted my lower half back with the soil once before and gave me back my life. That's a thing she can do. I wonder if, the Founder, I wonder if it creates the Titans here every time that we wish for the Titans' power using this boundless time. I guess, yeah, in the form that they need it, yeah, that's the thing they, that's the thing they do. Always here all alone, Eren, command the founder, Ymir. The time for our dream to be realized has come. What are those chains? You did well noticing, noticing these chains, yeah, I noticed them too. Thank you for worrying, like I said before, I thought it was one of the royals, that it was one of the royals, and they were chained up because of the whole, oh, we're not gonna go to war or whatever, but since Zeke is a royal, that also applies to him. They prevent me from being free. In other words, the vow, yeah, of renouncing war. As I thought, you are the only one who can move freely here. You are the only one who can command the founder, Ymir. This is my dream, and Mr. Xavier's and yours, who is Xavier. Professor Xavier, please save the world. Aaron, what are you waiting for? Tell the founder that all the Eldians from now on must have bodies that cannot produce children. It's fine if we crush the allied forces with the rumbling later, Euthani euthanizing all Eldians. Aaron, yeah, he's not gonna go through with it. I would never such a dumb plan. I would never partake in such a joke of a plan. Sorry, brother. He's, he's giving, Aaron's really giving me Android 17 vibes. Like, from how he looks. Well, not right now, but you know. The only reason I went, the only reason I went along with you was to get here. Ah. Ah, oh. <laughs> ah, he said the same thing. As long as Eldians are around, this hell will never end. If you don't do this, from this point onwards, the killing will never stop. We will continue repeating this. Because I was born into this world. Four. Founder Ymir, please lend me your power. What is Eren? Kuhn gonna do? I mean, well, I mean, clearly it's not. He's not gonna euthanize all the Eldians. I like how they don't really show her face. Well, I guess her eyes. Oh, she's not. She's ignoring him. Where's she looking to? Where are you looking to, Ymir? Is Eren not worthy? Is that it? I knew it. Eren, I believe that you were the only one to understand me. Is this because of father's influence on you? Oh, oh she's all beat up. Right, were her eyes taken out too? Is that, is that why they're not showing her face? She looks kind of creepy right now. What do you mean by this? During the long period of time it took for you to open your eyes, I learned a great deal. The founder can build anything. Oh no, even those chains made of soil. There's, is there gonna be a battle in the mental scape? Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I don't I don't know if I'm showing it properly, but this is I'm loving this lore. Just just well not lore. I'm just loving this. It's not exactly it's not lore. It's more like I'm just loving this this stuff that's happening right now. I I, I dig it so much. If I who carries royal blood wish for it, that is. Unlike the previous kings, I reached this place without being tainted by the first king's ideology. And during the time I spent together with the founder, which felt like an eternity, I managed to render the vow of war renu renunciating renunciation powerless. Did you? I guess he did. Good for you, Zeke. Why is she all beat up, though? Oh, no, she's not. Gee, it's just poor. 
This is the founder, Ymir, who possesses absolute power, but her true form is that of a, of, of a slave without a will of her own. Oh. She continues to submit to the individuals carrying royal blood, whom she believes are her masters. I have obtained the power of the founder. So she was a slave, and she had this power, and she was controlled by royals. And she was branded as the devil. So she was framed. Yeah, that honestly sounds pretty accurate to me. I'm glad I waited until I could hear your true thoughts, as I thought you really were brainwashed by that father of ours. You're not at fault. We, were, we are miserable victims who were brought into this world by our horrible father. However, I had another father who, who saved me. You needed someone who could save you. I will never abandon you. I will heal you with the power of the founder. Hmm, you speaking nonsense, Zeke. I'm gonna go with Aaron. I don't know what he's up to, but... He's been playing the smart game for once. Uh... I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with Aaron. Because Zeke seems a little bit crazy. A, a little bit. <laughs> Stop it. It's pointless. It's time to save the world with you, Android Super 17. Uh, ew. It's baby. It's baby Aaron. Yeah, no, he looks so much more like his mom than, than Grisha. Mm, he can't handle the baby. These are our father's memories. Oh. More backstory. Good. Wait, what more can we learn, though? Well, a lot actually. What am I talking about? This is the thumbnail now. Everybody will understand what's going on. Uh, Aaron's mother alive for once. You should really fix that hairstyle. You should change your hairstyle. Something tells me that hairstyle is going to bring you bad luck. He really looks happy, doesn't he? Living on after dragging his comrades and his previous family down to hell. You don't know his story. Well, maybe he does. I don't like Zeke. I mean, I do. Well, I like his titan form. But Zeke, don't you be insulting Grisha. What the hell are you trying to do? I'll show you until you understand. In what way Grisha Jaeger brainwashed his son? Okay, I'm curious now. And instilled his nationalism into you. Over and over until you understand. Good for you, Grisha. No one can blame you for forgetting all about your first family and finding happiness here. His first family was destroyed and you betrayed him. What the f*** do you want? Well, forgetting all about your first son is what you f betrayed him. What the f*** do you want? It's not as if you could come back. I mean, maybe you could. Maybe you could, but it's dangerous. Zeek, 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 zeek. If anybody here is bearing washed, it's you. Go, Aaron. Punch him. Oh no, he's much too strong. Look, Aaron. Those are the man's true colors. What do you mean? The man's. You mean your father. He used his status as, doc as a doctor to draw himself closer to the influential people within the walls. And investigated the ruler of the walls in order to steal the founding title, okay? Of course, if he failed, it would cost him his wife and son, but he keeps braving this danger because he kinda has to. I'm disillusioned. I was wrong, I was not meant to be born. Okay, what? Well, my brainwashing came undone. Time is infinite, there's no need to be in a hurry. A bigger show wasn't that good. Aaron, eating fiercely. Ah. Uh, Hannes, right? It's been so long since I last saw him, I don't even remember if he's dead or not. No? Yes? Is that you, Kenny? What'd you do? Oh yeah, he's sweating. Kenny? <laughs> that he'd be able to locate it so quickly? What is this place? It's the headquarters of the King of the Walls. Oh. We're just supposed to steal the founding the day the wall gets destroyed oh did, did baby Eren notice i know they're able to share memories and stuff i'm sure he noticed baby Eden seems like a smart boy baby Eden does no wrong i see seems like his second child was loved almost to the point of halting his duty as a restorationist it's really such a big difference to how you betrayed him. What the f 
I mean, of course, he kind of brainwashed you too, but like, whatever, whatever Zeke, whatever. Seems like he must have learnt from his previous failure after all. Still, you're practically acting like ju acting just like Dad wanted. You're not your true self anymore. That's something you'll understand sooner or later. Are you sure he completely forgot about you? I mean, like, yes, he he's had that picture there. Oh, what a surprise. His father actually does care about him. Oh, he knows they're there. Oh, he feels it. Zeke, are you right here? And there's someone else. Ah, these Titan Shifter powers are so weird. I love it. No way, there's no way Zeke could be this old, bearded man, right? This must be a dream. I love this chapter. Why does it have to end? Why does this chapter have to end? This is... It's the next one. The next memory, Zeke. The wait's gonna be too long. The wait's gonna be way too long for me. This chapter was good. The next chapter is gonna be, be it's gonna be even better. All right, so basically, Aaron went to the wibbly wibbly. This whole chapter takes place in the Aaron in the shifter. I'm just gonna call it the shifter space. The inner shifter space. We find out that Ymir was just. Well, I mean, we kind of knew he was. She was a slave girl already. Or, or well, I don't know if she, we knew that she was a slave girl. We knew that she was a uh, low class uh, peasant. Uh, basically, she has no she has no will of her own, and she serves master. It didn't outright say that she was uh, being controlled, but yeah, since she has no will of her own, it's safe to assume that oh, she follows her master. She's a slave girl. Uh, and eventually they were she was used for the master's own games and when she wasn't useful anymore they framed her and the all the Eldians meaning they were framed. Well I mean they did do that stuff, but you know. You know how slavery can be. Um yeah. So this whole thing was a lie. Uh, the Eldians did no wrong. <laughs> Zeke uh, eventually found a way to break the "Oh, we're not going to war because we're royals" pact. Whatever. Uh, he did that, and now he's like, "Oh, Aaron, you're still brainwashed by Papa Pa." And then it turns out, "Oh, Papa Pa really had nothing. Really wasn't that bad of a guy. So you should stop talking, poo poo, Zeke." And Zeke's still like, he's no, he was bad. And then the Papa Pa was like, Zeke, I'm sorry. And then Zeke's like, <gasps> and then Grisha realizes, oh, hey, you're here. Wait, why does Zeke look like such a beard? Why, do, why is Zeke a bearded old man? What is this? What's going on? And then Grisha proceeds to grow a beard eventually. Or is that just his Titan form? I don't know. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh. I'm not brainwashed, let's go to the next memory, forget you Zeke, let's go, and the next chapter Aaron's probably gonna like beat him up or something, or gain, gain the control of the founding titan in him here, and yeah, I wanna know what the next one's gonna be, I don't even, I don't even care what the next memory is, I just wanna see what the next chapter's gonna be, because it's gonna probably gonna be, probably gonna be one of the best chapters, this was a really good chapter, now I have to wait for the next chapter, this is a really, let me just reiterate real quick. It felt really short, even though it took forever to, to just read through because of my internet. But, you know, really good chapter. We're gonna go. This is H Extraordinaire. Uh, leave a like if you if you like Bebe Eden. Uh, subscribe if you like Bebe Eden, and check the notification bell if you like Bebe Eden. Bebe Eden does no wrong. Bebe Eden shall save your soul. Why am I doing a tribe beam? I don't know. <laughs>